Cash Roll Edge Endurance Countdown continues today and we're looking at car 24, the Bundaberg Red Racing Commodore of Fabian Coulthard and another question mark, but probably Craig Baird, that's the word that Speed Cafe is hearing. Fabian, a horrible year, 23rd in the championship leading into Phillip Island. What does he do from here? Drive as fast as he can do and hopes that the season turns around. I mean, he came to Welcome Shores with a lot of expectation, a great year in Paul Crookshank's team are a great two years, in fact, in a team that didn't have the massive budget that these other teams have. Bit of instability, I think, about this team. Some comments in the media leading into the Enduros uh, that they're not the priority. Of course, we expect HRT to be mm -hmm. the priority. They're the factory team of Holden. But I think uh, that's obviously not the best way that you want to go into the Enduros. The season they've had has been a shocker. Um, but Coulthard, we know he can drive. There's no problem there. Bed's an experienced, reliable, solid, Probably the cruisiest guy going in pit lane half the time is Beardo, so I, I think, think they're a little bit of a factor, but probably not the race winning. I, I think that's a bit of a balance there in the drivers. Neither driver there is going to have an ego trip above the other one. They're, they're balanced in that context. Craig Beard's been around long enough. He, he won't do anything silly. And Fabian's got to keep his head together and not you know, try to be a win cup overnight in one race. And it's an unknown quantity, but normally you wouldn't put much money on this entry as a, a, to be you know, any further up than the top seven or eight. You know? I think that's probably a, a fair call. You could only really go on the baseline of the yeah. 16 races so far this year, but I always think the Enduros are a little bit different and you can potentially move people up the marker a little bit from where they've been or perhaps mm. knock them back a couple of knocks. Mm. I think I'd bump these guys up a couple, considering mm. it's a really good combo if Beardo ends up driving with Fabian. Um, both have got the runs on the board, so I think I think it's a solid combo. It's probably not going to be a race-winning combination, but it's one that'll be there or thereabouts. Because I think those endurance races and the tracks that they're on, if you have had a bad car during the year that you can't get your head around, the way you've got to drive it, it's a bit different at these races. But we're finding another HRT uh, entry car. Will it be um, a good weekend car or not a good weekend? We've had this up and down from that team, and. They probably wish it, wish it wasn't up and down, but that's what we've been seeing. And uh, if they get it all right, that can obviously work very much in their favour. But they get it wrong, you know, the drivers aren't uh, the, the top of shelf driver with due respect to them, but uh, it gives them a huge hill to climb. Now, Fabian had his first V8 taste. It was a Perkins Commodore in about Correct, 2002, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you didn't sign him up, why not? No. No uh, room at the end? Well, there was no room at the end, that's the first thing, but. Um, there was uh, issues that I suppose didn't make it stand out to me uh, that he was the right guy and uh, I, I wished him well, we parted uh, fine. And he's gone on to sometimes have better results than I would have expected from him. And um, here's the chance for him, uh, Fabian, you know, prove me wrong and get out <laughs> there and get, kick some ass, you know. <laughs> Can Fabian Coulthard pull, prove uh, Larry wrong here? You're on the Castrol Edge Endurance Countdown. More tomorrow.